I'm gonna be analyzing how exertion plays short on Mirage CT side. You're going to learn the basics as well as more advanced plays and protocols as a short player, but first, quick word from today's sponsor. I want to thank today's sponsor which is SkinsMonkey. They are one of the best and easy to use CS2 trading sites. You can instantly switch out your skins you don't want by selecting them and then pick up the new skins you do want that are so much nicer. You can also buy skins much cheaper with a 35% total deposit bonus using code NART and don't forget the freebie section where you can get free skins. Make sure to use the link in the description and code NART for all the extra bonuses. As the short player, you're going to be assisting and helping out with two areas, which is B site as well as mid. The first priority as a short player is that you're listing out for apartments and you're playing anti-rush or if expecting a B execute. This is a standard play, especially if the T's are on like a half buy or poor buy. You don't want your B anchored to get overrun by these pistols. As a short player, like I said earlier, you can listen very closely into what's going on inside the kitchen apartments. This wall in the middle of the arch is the best angle and position to hold from when the T's come out apps as it allows you cover and different angles to peek. As you saw, this position does give you some time to reload depending if the T's don't push up on you. And then you can also see that it does avoid some flashes. This is such a better position than holding from get right. I want to add on to what Exertion does in the beginning. He typically has some type of utility out. So in this round, he'll have nade out because he does not have money for a Molotov. This is so just in case the T's are coming towards apps. So he could throw that to either slow them down or to do damage, which is going to happen here and then he's going to play behind this wall here. You could also add this defensive spoke to give you more room and space to play with, but he does not get out in time. The other position you're helping out as a short player is towards mid. In this clip, we see Cloud9 going fast mid up catwalk. Exertion throws the perfect flash over the wall that's going to set him up with the 2k. Why did he instantly turn around and focus on apps? And that's because there could be a potential B split that happened. With the dynamics of the smoke, the T's can fully smoke off connector, making it harder for the connector player or A player to assist you, so this puts a lot more pressure onto the short player. Once again, we see Exertion shutting down C9's fast mid take. You typically don't see the short player just swing out and peeking top mid because of T-side offers. I'll punish you, especially in the pro scene. The only time you'll see this happen in pro play is when pro teams have a set mid setup where they'll re-aggress and mount off top mid, underpass, and swing from short, connector, and window. If you are holding mid from short, you can see that you're not going to expose yourself to the Del Plan chair angle as shown here from Exertion, who held a really nice off angle. However, you'll see he does lose the second duel here against Brokey. What other angles and positions should you be aware of as a short player? So let's go ahead and go through the motion with this round. So you can see Exertion is not spotted from Del Plan chair, as I told you before, and he's watching the run up here towards connector. And then the other position angle you should be careful about is if the T's jump on the mid bench to peak you short, which you're going to see that he is aware of here. And by holding this close angle as shown here, you're more favorable to win this duel against the T's because you spot them earlier. Also note how exertion is positioned when he is pushed up towards short, he is on the back wall because you don't want to be spotted from apartments if T's come that way. Off angle held that is away from Delpan and also the bench player can't spot you and then you're going to see him turn around here to help out towards B, and you're going to see the same position shown earlier, which then he switches towards the other side after contacting on the right side. Let's talk about utility real quick. As I covered before, if he has a Molotov out, he'll hold it in case of a B pop or a rush, and then you're going to see that the nade set that he'll throw mid-round is that he'll smoke bottom con, then he is going to Molotov towards this bench side as well as throw a flash. What's the purpose of this nade set? Well, in this round, the bottom con smoke is going to slow down the T's progression of mid control. And then the Molotov is going to allow him to push in the ladder as well as the flash. Shown earlier, you'll see exertion flash over short at the start of the round sometimes. Mid round, you might see him only smoke off bottom con. But you see this Molotov has a huge spread. He sometimes can even go aggressive with this nade set. As I said earlier, the short player you can actually hear inside apartments, but vice versa can be the same. If there's T's inside apps, they can hear you if you're very loud towards short. So be careful. Unless you don't really care about giving up your position and jump spotting like this, then I would rec not recommend you do so. So you don't want the T's to know you're up here in this angle and position. Here you see the nade set that was previously shown and you're going to see exertion is going to aggro with this nade set in this round instead of going into ladder here. 
Another position and angle that you should be utilizing as a short player is playing inside of ladder. Playing ladder, you can hold window as well as the short run up. Exertion likes to play on top of these bricks. It's an off angle held for mid as well as depending on how the T smoke window, you could see over the top left corner of the smoke. Just be careful when the T smoke off window, they could boost inside the smoke. Usually the T's are not going to walk through that smoke towards jungle. So you do have to keep your eye on that boost. Typically, if you do play that ladder position, your anchor play is going to be by themselves. In this clip and round, we're going to see the off angle bricks and window work to perfection. Not always do you have to play either arch or up towards short or even ladder. You could actually play in a setup with your B teammate if you think that they're going to execute towards B. Here's a common CT duo setup towards B where you have one player jump spotting your anchor player and then you have the other player towards the left side here who is going to bait your anchor player. Another play you could do with your B teammate at the start of the round is to get the fast boost into apartments where you're going to push up into apps. A common BCT setup mid round is if you need information as well as your player down is that you'll see both of the B players are going to aggro towards short to do this boost here, which is going to set exertion up with the frag onto Emma. Let's talk about rotations and when the T's are executing A and you are pushed up towards short. Don't immediately just think that mid is clear unless you get a specified number of how many T's are towards A. There could always be a lurker that is around underpass or top mid. The only exception when Exertion is not playing towards short or even towards the B side is when his opera towards the wants to play short. What's going to happen is Exertion will boost towards the into ladder or towards the is going to fast boost himself into ladder from window or Torzi starts and runs around from B site too short. Basically, Exertion is going to pick up window and switch places with Torzi when Torzi goes short, or Exertion is going to go play under dark. So this is how Exertion holds short on Mirage. Now, who do you want me to analyze next? What position, what map, what role? Let me know down below in the comments below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future CS2 Pro guides.